Franklin is back. We are finally going to see what Franklin has been up to in the years following the story in this month's GTA Online update. This means both Franklin and Trevor will have made appearances in GTA Online, but one remains. My personal favorite of the trio, Michael. Other than Jimmy's appearance in the Diamond Casino Heist update, we really have no clue what Michael or his family have been up to in the years since. In a way, I'm actually perfectly fine with this. I don't want Michael to be a GTA Online. I like to think he is finally retired from crime and that everything with him and his family is still going well. Part of me really doesn't want Rockstar to mess with his ending, because where his story ends at in the end of GTA 5 is perfect. But money talks and boy does GTA Online make a lot of it. And I figure it'll make even more than normal given that this upcoming DLC seems to be like it could have been the originally planned story DLC but converted to online. People love seeing story characters in online, or at least I do. So if this goes well, what's stopping? them from bringing Michael or even Trevor back for some more in GTA Online. Nothing. I do think there is one really cool route they could go down if they want to bring Michael into Online, and that is a movie studio DLC. I don't like the concept of Michael going back into crime, so what else could we do with him? Well, I'm assuming his work at the movie studio is still going on following the story because of character switch cutscenes. What if after all these years, Solomon Richards finally hangs up the towel and retires and has left Michael in charge? It would go along with the theme of the story characters becoming big time after the story ended, which we already have happening with Franklin. With Michael in charge, he is looking for people to pull off the same kind of work he did during the production of Meltdown back in 2013. So he reaches out to our GTA Online characters, who always looking for work, except and buy an office in the studio, because, duh, of course you're going to need to buy something to access the DLC. It's GTA Online after all. Once you buy an office, Michael will start giving you missions. Some of the mission ideas I have are based off of GTA missions of the past. These are intimidate an actor into coming to set, get vehicle stunt footage, save a stolen film reel, retrieve a stolen prop car and return it to the studio, get rid of paparazzi trying to get set photos, promote the film by placing posters and attending the premiere. These could all be missions that Michael gives you. How would these missions work? Well, by ideas similarly to nightclub promotion missions, you go to your computer and choose to work on the film. The more you work on the film, the faster the production will go. Similarly to a nightclub popularity level, the more frequently you have successfully completed missions, the higher the production progress bar will be. Once it's at its end, you can attend the premiere, and if all goes well at the premiere, you can get your payday for the film. Maybe alongside this business concept, there could also be story missions like the ones that came with the Diamond Casino update, and what I presume this new update will also be. Just a handful of missions that tell a short story. And maybe even we could have mansions purchasable as homes for our characters to truly give us the experience of being a Hollywood filmmaker. I think this could be a really damn cool update. It's the obvious way to bring Michael into GTA Online. Besides, the fact that we have gone so long without doing much of anything with the movie studio is crazy. Anything would be yet another heist or heist type missions. Anyway, this is just the concept that probably won't ever come to pass. At the end of the day, I truly think I'd personally rather just have Michael stay in story. His ending there is really good for his character. But if he were to come back like this, I'd be fine with it. I do think we are probably definitely going to hear Franklin say a little bit of something about Michael in the upcoming update. But as far as if he will ever show up in GTA Online, who knows. GTA Online will probably be getting updates for years to come anyway, so they'll definitely have plenty of opportunities for it. And that is it for this video. I am currently back in a GTA slash Rockstar phase on my channel. Um, I'm making mainly GTA videos from now on. I'm working on reviews of the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition with the GTA 3 one out already. So uh, sub if you want some more GTA content. If you want to help out a small GTA creator, that'd be nice. I mean, some of the big ones aren't that great. Some are pretty good, though. So yeah, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just leave it at that. Sub if you want. It'd be nice.